Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can go about creating um, how we can go about creating one item and then put it in onto other items. Okay, so this is actually done through the assets panel. So we're going to take a look at a new assets panel now. What would be the reason why we would want to do this? Well, it would be like having a master item that we would put on every page and then we could change it in one spot. So right now I have three pages open and this site's going to have more than that. Okay, I have an index page, HTML one page, HTML two page. And what I want to do is I want to actually create, put the same exact navigation bar on each page. Now, but what I and what I also want to do is I want to have a master navigation bar that when I change it in one place, it will change in all the other spots. Dreamweaver makes this possible through creating a library item through the assets panel. So let's take a look. Now, what we want to note too is that the way that we format it with type and with color, that is all done. That is actually all done through CSS. So all the CSS that I've applied to this page will apply to this. But what I want to do first is I'm going to create a simple, um, a simple uh, div tag for a navigation bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in to my insert panel and I'm going to create a div tag window inserts. There it is. Okay, I'm going to get my insert div tag. And what I want to do is I'm going to actually put it after the tag and I'm going to put it after the header and I'm going to name it. Let's name it actually navbar. And it is a new CSS rule. Now, what I want to do is I want to attach it to my web design CSS. That way I can insert this into all of my other pages. Now, I don't want it to just apply to only one HTML element. I'm going to say that it can actually apply to any HTML element. Okay. Okay, hold on for a minute. I just had uh, Camtasia opened up in my back, in the back of this case. So it can apply to any HTML element. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, we're going to name it navbar. Okay. All right. So now what do we want to do? Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to just make a box. Okay. I'm going to say, make it 70%. Okay. And I'm going to make the height maybe about 65 pixels. Now I can change this if I'd like to, this is really easy. You just go in, you edit. If it's not enough, you just change it around. Now uh, I don't need any margin at the top. I'm going to undo the same for all and I'm going to do my right at 15% and my left at 15%. Okay. Now, why did I do it this way? Well, because the real thing that we have to account for as we do our CSS is how it's going to load on a page. Now we, we have a lot of control about over how it lines up vertically. Okay. But what happens is the horizontal, how it lines up horizontally, that isn't always as clear, okay, because of the resolution of a screen, okay. So what I want to account for is I want it to, you know, be almost the same on all the browsers, even independent of what that browser's resolution is. So that's how I've done. So I'm going to hit apply, okay, okay, and it's after the tag of header. I should make sure I have after close of tag, okay, after tag, okay, that's what I want, okay. Okay, and there it is. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a very simple navigation bar. And as I look at this, I actually may want to put um, a margin up on the top, right? So it puts more space between these two, but we'll take a look at that in a minute or two. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a library item, okay? Because I want to do my navigation bar and I want it to be the same everywhere that it goes. So I'm going to come to my assets panel. My assets panel is right here and I'm going to say, okay, you know what? I want to create a library item. Okay. And what we can say is we want a new library item. Now I'm going to name this nav bar click, and now I'm going to edit it. So it's going to say, all right, let's edit it. And there we have it. 
Okay. Now it took this, but I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to start with um, my categories. My first one is HTML. My second one is going to be a page on, on CSS. You know, maybe I'll capitalize everything, make it look a little bit HTML. Okay. Um, CSS. Dreamweaver. And then I'm going to have a blog. Now, if I wanted to change anything, I could really very, very easily. Now, what I'm going to do here is I am going to now uh, link these guys up. So I'll come on to my properties panel. Okay. Again, I'm going to find, my, open up my files panel. So I'll come to window. Where are those files of mine? They've disappeared. Okay. HTML. And I'm going to come on in here and put it put it right there okay um, now I could put in now it looks this color uh, because it's not there yet now what I want to do real quick is I'm actually going to create my new files so I have them in here okay so I'm going to come to file new okay and I'm going to say create file save as CSS save okay file new create dreamweaver oops that's not what i wanted to do hold on file save as and i'm going to name this one dreamweaver and i'm going to hit save now what i should do is just because i should do this i'm going to put dreamweaver right on this page and i'm going to put css right on this page Okay, and then for the link of uh, the web design blog, I'm going to actually link it out to an actual blog. Okay, well, let's go through. We're going to come CSS, and what we want to do here is find our files and attach it to the CSS. We're going to come to the Dreamweaver one. We're going to take this, and we are going to attach it to Dreamweaver. Okay. Now these are all relative links. The blog is going to be a blog on Blogger. Okay. So what I'm going to need to do is actually put it in through entering the complete URL, which I am going to get. Okay. I think that this is the link. Let's see if it works or not. It hopefully it does. Um, okay. It's file save all. I'm going to hit update. Okay. All right. So let's go back um, to index. Now it to it inserted right in here. And the reason why it did that was because I had that highlighted when I created it. So there we have it right in here. Let's preview it. And then we're going to see how we can put it into other pages. All right. So I have HTML, CSS, Dreamweaver, and I'm not sure if the blog's going to work or not. Ah, it worked. Fabulous. Okay. All right. So let's actually, now if I wanted to edit these, what I would do would be um, the spacing of it. Um, what I would have to do is go in and edit the CSS around it. Like if I wanted to change the colors or change the size of it, that would actually be really easy to do based upon the CSS that is inside of this div tag. Now, let's take a look at how we can go about inserting this item into another page. What I'm going to do now first is I need to insert my um, div tag, which is my navbar div tag. So I'm going to come to my insert window once again, and it's here right in front of me, but I just can't seem to see it. Up oh, there it is. Okay, cancel. All right, so I'm going to come in insert div tag All right, I'm going to say after tag after header and I'm going to it's going to be the nav bar I'm going to say okay and there it is now what I want to do is I want to insert my library item here alright so this is how we go about inserting the library item I come back to my assets panel okay I have this selected I'm going to hit 
insert. And there it is, as easy as that. Okay, I come to um, HTML, that was HTML1. Okay, now if I come into HTML2, you can see that I have a nav bar underneath the nav bar. But I could come in, I could do the same on all of these pages. It's that easy to just come on in and insert it. Now, let's say that I decided, you know, that, oh, I need another, I need to add one more um, link. Maybe I want to have HTML, I want to have CSS, I want to have Dreamweaver. Um, but maybe I also want to add in a section on working with uh, Spry, okay, with Spry assets. So I'm going to put in a, another, uh, another item on my navigation bar to address just that. So let's take a look. How would I go about doing that? Well, what I want to do is select this right here select my that and then all I have to do is hit um, to edit it which is right here edit and I get this right here now I can come right in and I could all right and it's reading this as being something a little bit different so actually what I want to do is reading that as being part of the blog so I have to have to redo that um, let me make sure this is just spry assets. I have two T's. Okay, and then I'm going to space this and I'm going to put. Okay, it's underlining it for some reason. We'll figure this out. I'll figure that one out in a minute. All right, so what I would need to do is uh, create my page for that. Okay, so I could come back in before we do that. File, new. Okay, so what we'll find is that the Spry assets, the Spry in um, Dreamweaver, it actually adds a level of interactivity to our pages. And I'll have videos on this in a little bit. Um, it adds interactivity to our pages. And what we're going to find is it, um, it's through JavaScript. Okay, so what I'm going to do is come back to my files panel and I'm going to spry. Okay, and then when I come to my blog, all right, file, save all. And now it's going to say that you need to update these, and I'm going to hit update. Close. So I come to my index page. Okay, we have Spry Assets and we have our blog and we also have our index page. Okay, now if I come in and I preview it again. Okay, all right, I need to figure this out. Hold on, like, give me one minute. Let me figure out. These two have linked together, so hold on for one minute just gone back in and I deleted it. When I did that the first time, it kept the information of the link. So sometimes if you just go back and do it again, so spry, and it really shouldn't be blue until I create the link. So that link was still in there. And now I'm going to do my blog. Oopsie. Blog. All right, now let's try this one more time. Uh, if I come on in over here and I come to my properties panel, I have Spry highlighted. I'm going to drag it and release it. And then if I come to my blog and I put my link right in there, excellent. That's what we want. And I'm going to hit File, Save All, and I'm going to update index and HTML. Files that use navbar, look in files that use navbar, update library items. And that's done. So I'm going to close. I'm going to come back to my index page, wherever it may be. Excellent. And it separated them out. And now I'm going to preview in Safari. Now it looks like it's always something, right? My um, link for blog didn't work. Okay, so let's go back and fix it. Sometimes it's good to see something just not work out quite right for someone. Um, it looks like I put that in HTML2 to update. Close. Right. Let's try this one more time. And this time, third time's a charm. I come back to navbar, this one, and 
Okay, click off. File, save all. Now let me come into HTML1 because I actually I want to do the same thing. I'm going to come into insert. I'm going to insert a div tag, window, insert window, wherever it may be. Where are you, insert window? Behind here. Okay, insert div tag, and I'm going to say I don't want to wrap it around. I want it to be after a tag, and I'm going to be it's going to be after the header. It's going to be nav bar. Okay. Now I'm going to come on in here one more time in my assets panel, and I'm going to insert this. Insert. Excellent. Now I'm going to file, save all. Okay. And um, let's take a look. Let's preview it. All right, so now the blog works, which is great. Okay, so there we have it. We can change it with one foul swoop, one foul swoop of a uh, of a change in one spot, and it all just works. Again, if we wanted to change the color, change the size, we'd have to do that inside of our CSS within that item. Thanks for listening.